Welcome back to the map making series, episode 2, PvP map making. And uh, yeah, just a few things I need to address um, about last episode, about the things that I'm doing with this map. First of all, you blinking? You blinking, okay. Um, so, just a quick thing. Uh, some people might have noticed. Um, so this is triggering this block. Um, so that's going to make at P join the team. So whoever is the closest person should actually make it. No, no, no that's fine. Um, yeah, so the, the closest person is going to be set to the team spawn. So that's who's ever close to this command block. And the closest person to this command block that's on the team spawn is going to get their spawn point set to over there. And then this is going to TP them to over there. But supposing there's somebody closer to this block, and then there's somebody closer to this block. So then this person will get their spawn point set, this person will get teleported, and this person does not have his spawn point set over there. Um, his spawn point is still there, or like right above here. Um, and then this person is going to get teleported. Um, that's fine. Because, although, although everybody, or not, not everybody will have their spawn point set to right here um, as long as you're on the team that's all that matters as long as you're teleported here and you're on the team that's all that matters um, so yeah so like because you're on the team friendly fires off you can't die and get teleported over there instead of here um, and when when everybody goes into arena and comes back uh, they're going to be removed from the team, and their spawn point will be set in another room. And then when they come back, their spawn point will be set back here. So even if their spawn point was never this, it'll be set to this. And let me just quickly do something. Time default, time day only. That's a function of Optifine. Um, whenever it gets close to night, it'll become day automatically. So that's cool. Oh uh, yeah, so that that's fine. There's no problem with that. Um, another thing is, the way I'm going to be doing this, with the scoreboard things, you should be playing it with people you can, uh, like, trust, and, like, like with friends, and not just random people, because the way I'm going to be doing this, pretty sure you can easily be trolled, or it can be broken or screwed up, um, and I'll explain more later as to why. But anyways, so I've set up eight spawn points here. Um, those are the gray things. And then the coal, or the, the gray blocks, the iron blocks. This is a gold block. And the gold block is where you need to get to, to earn points. And um, so it's king of the, whatever, this is king of the hill map. Um, so you're going to stand here, who's ever in, um, on this block, well, this is going to be removed. Oh great, now i got to get it. Um, but who's ever in this position right there, um, with a four block radius, four block, yep, four block all around it, is going to gain points. And so everyone's just running up here, everybody's fighting. Yeah, so that's how that works. And we're going to set that up for this map here. Then off screen, I'm going to create some more maps. And then, yeah, then we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah. So, let's begin. First place. There we go. King of the hill. So, that's this place here. Um, so, when you press this button. Um, the reason, yeah, I said you can easily be trolled. If multiple people hit this button, then that can potentially troll people. Um, also... Um, the reason you, you all have to be like on the same page, um, all having the same idea, essentially, all know what's happening, is because um, the scoreboard points are all going to be run off the exact same scoreboard point position, or point system. Um, so only one game can be played um, at one time. So um, it's going to get screwed up. Um, if somebody decides to go on one of these other maps, presses one of these other buttons, when everybody's decided we're going to go king of the hill, so then one pu person pushes it, but if somebody else pushes here, 
and they go and play it on another map, it's going to screw it up. Um, yeah, so, yeah, that is that. Um, so, yeah, this is not a game for, like, putting on a server and then people just playing, unless you're only doing one map, uh, because it can easily get derped like that. So, King of the Hell map. Someone, whatever, whoever, doesn't matter, someone's going to press the button. Command block there. And um, now any of this, any of this redstone that I'm going to do um, can easily be changed. Uh, like if I get a uh, understanding of how to do it better or yeah, just better. Um, but for now, what it's going to happen is let me grab the coordinate here. There we go. It's going to be TP at all within these coordinates. Uh, this bracket. Um, x equals negative one five four six point five. I think I can do decimals. Um, y equals four. Then z equals negative ninety three. There we go. So I'm gonna oh and r equals five. There we go. And then I'll have to get the coordinates for where they're getting teleported to later um so that's that's that so you're getting teleported this and you know what that is going to be for they're two blocks apart it's going to be for every single command block it's anybody in that area or everybody in the area is going to get teleported so that doesn't include the people doesn't include the people that's just spawning in the map essentially um if those people even exist um, which really, they shouldn't. Everybody should be on already. Um, there we go. And also, that it kind of prevents trolls in case... I don't know. You know, someone might back in... Um, is it raining? Oh, it's raining. All this is desert. So that's why it's just raining there. So I'll just, I'm just going to toggle down the fall. Weird. Um, yeah, so let's say someone presses a button, everybody here goes, someone logs onto the map, comes here, presses a button, it's not going to teleport everybody away from the game, screwing everything up, seriously screw everything up, um, it'll just teleport him to another map, um, which will, you know, screw up the scoreboard system, but it's not going to teleport everybody half dead, half in their gear, over to another map, or whatever, um, so King of the Hill, it's going to teleport somewhere. Did I even finish placing the command box? Did not. Where was I? Very nice. And then I'll just import the coordinates. Whoops. Oh, gosh. There. There. Whoops. Oh. And they're hitting, hitting wrong keys. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so this is the first place. Get teleported. We don't have the coordinates yet. Um, so coordinates okay so now we're gonna make a mini hub now, i mentioned that before it's just gonna i can use this um so it's just gonna be like a mini room over here it's gonna start here let's make it a five by five why not so this is the center there there we go so there there walls Port, uh, quartz block. I showed that command last episode. So you're here. Everybody gets uh, teleported here. Let's get down the x and y coordinates. Negative one five sixty point six. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Four negative one zero nine point six. So copy those done very nice and then that goes into first command block done now let's make sure this works it doesn't work okay I fix it just don't put the, uh, the decimals um, you can't have decimals in these brackets here um, so yeah um, just be careful about that in these brackets here. You can't have decimals. And I just changed them for all the things. And yes, I tested it. It worked. Yeah, so now you're here. There's going to be one button for... And it's going to be for anybody to join. 
see there. And this is gonna be like start, or let's center that. Start. Um, I forgot a command. Forgot a command. Um, whoops, not you, I don't need you. And then this is going to, I should probably back up all these command blocks. Um, I'm gonna remove everybody from the teams within that area. Uh, so yeah, you know what, I'm gonna have to go around um, whoops, placing another, another thing of command blocks here. This is going to remove them from the team, from spawn team, so that they can't, um, you know, they can't, um, not fight each other. Because in here, they can't fight each other. Um, beyond here, you can fight each other. Actually, you know what? No, because then they can fight each other in this box. When you press this button, you get removed from the team. That is a better idea. So I don't need that. So that teleports them. Now, this is going to... Um, now I need to think. When you press the button, you get teleported to a place. Sets your spawn point. And it gives you the gear. And then it sets you to teleport to one of these places. And it's going to be... It's going to be random. Well, it's not going to be random, but it's going to shift you from place to place to place to place. It's going to kind of go in a circle. So everyone's going to get teleported to a different place. And uh, and when you respawn, you'll most likely not get teleported. Or you'll, you'll most likely not respawn in the same corner. So that means i gotta make a, I got to make a little spawning platform thing. Um, so you press, press start. Um... No, wait, I was going to have a system, not a button, because buttons can be spammed. It's going to be a... Now, which... I guess I have to do a, a stone pressure plate. I was going to say, which pressure plate stays on for longer? But I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter, but but items can be thrown on on um, wooden pressure plates. Stone plates can't, and we don't want items being thrown. So, you stand on here when you are ready... For yourself to be joined um, and then a sticky piston it's gonna pop out of the ground it's gonna shove this block in place so that no one else can stand on the pressure plate as long as it is being power oh gosh it scared me I forgot about that um, so the easiest way to do this is this that shuts that off will that It's not shutting it off. Um, simple enough, however. This, this. Whoops. Oh. Okay. There we go. So that should do it. Shoom. And whoever steps on that pressure plate is automatically the closest person to the block because the command block will be here. So no matter what, you know what I should have. Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to do that. I was thinking just to add glowstone. Um, just to light this up. Get glowstone in. So no matter what, this person is the closest person. There we go. To this command block. Whoops. And there we go. So no matter what. Um, I could also, you know, I could actually set it to TP the person at this coordinate um, with a radius of one or does radius of zero work? I'll have to test. So it's going to teleport this person to a pod. It's going to do a little bit more than just teleporting though. Um, so I'm going to put this down there. There, that triggers that. So then we're going to have, oh, oh, there's my command block. I usually have a command block here. I thought I got it removed. So it's going to have two things because you can have three things so one of them is going to set um you know what one of them has to be delayed so put that there so first of all i'm going to grab the coordinate for this block so let's remove that block so i don't get pushed off so the coordinate is negative one five sixty four negative one 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 Copy that coordinate. Done. Very nice. 
Um, let me just clear this out so I have more room to work. There. That's a good idea. So first of all, the person at this coordinate. So it's going to slash um, scoreboard teams remove at P. Will that work? Spawn team? Think that might be how it works. No, just spawn, just spawn. I'm not sure if that's the correct command. I'll put that there and check that later. Um, oh, it won't trigger that because that's facing there now. Okay. I'll, you know, I'll just, re I'll just rewrite it. So, there's the coordinate. Wait, I've got to write that later. So, slash scoreboard, scoreboard, at P, at P, with these coordinates. And i got to write the whole x equals y equals, y equals, and z equals. That, so the person out there, um... That might be good. Um, they get scoreboard teams. Oh, you know what? This has to be written here. Slash scoreboard. I think there's a specific order that has to be written in teams. Remove at P spawn. I think that might work. I'll check that later. See if that's the correct code. It says we move down here. Um, so that removes them from the team. That sets their spawn point slash spawn point. Um, hmm. Um, gonna get set their spawn. It'll set their spawn point here. There. Spawn point at P with these conditions here. Copy that. So with these at P there, that's the person standing there. We'll get spawn. Their spawn point is now that block. Now if two people die at the same time, that screws it up. I know it's highly unlikely, but we have to consider the possibilities. Now, I'm thinking... I want, you know, they're not going to spawn there because I'm there. They're going to spawn in this hub and then they have to keep walking on the pressure plate. I think that is fair to do. Ah, oh, I died. Better walk in again. That seems fair to me. So the, so it's just the Z coordinate 109.2. Where is this? 109. There we go. So that's, that's your spawn point here. You'll always spawn here, um, you know, until the game's over. That's going to be tricky stuff when the game ends. So you spawn on here. Yourself have to walk on there. They'll set your spawn. That'll remove you from this team. Then a second later, then it'll slash TP at P with these the following stuff um, to the coordinates of a... A pod we can call it and this will give you your gear and that's just gonna use all mostly droppers and command blocks uh, no, no it's got to be dispensers something like this that and then I don't I don't I'm not sure exactly I don't know exactly what we're gonna be given um, and then it's gonna be a little bit more because obviously that pressure plate doesn't reach there, these top places, but yeah, so that's four armor pieces, then we'll have red, red snow wiring, maybe give you some, I'm thinking you're going to get some, some effects, like, oh, oh, that's all the mountains and stuff, that's all the terraforming, some effects, like, um, some speed, like five seconds of speed, or ten seconds of speed, um, ten seconds of, uh, strength, and ten seconds of protection, um, just to give you a little boost when you spawn in, and uh, yeah, that's probably probably good. You get it's like a, giving you a little shield, a little boost, power boost, just to make your way up here. 
I mean, in case anybody's like spawn camping or anything, which I doubt that'd be a stupid idea to do. You always want to make it descent of the hill. Um, that's the way I imagine the game would go, anyways. Everybody's just trying to go to the center of the hill. Uh, so I think that that is good. So it's going to TP to these coordinates. Click. And that is, and they have to be exact coordinates. So right in the center. Uh, so TPIP, I just have to get the coordinates. Negative 1556.5, 5, 4, negative 1, 2, 2. Point five. It's, there we go. And that is this command block. And there. Um, just check something. Yeah, so that's that. So that is the exact coordinates of there. So that TPs them. And I have a repeater here because it's got to TP them a second. Um, a second out of maybe. Just out of delay. So you step on it, um, there's got to be, yeah, there's got to be that short delay. Because, um, yeah, the person has to get um, these these other two command blocks first. Um, so I'm just going to quickly teleport that, or <laughs> teleport that, quickly test that, see if there's any problems, and I'll be right back. Okay, I did some testing, some very successful testing. And this is the correct... Um, command to get the person to leave slash scoreboard teams leave at P then these coordinates um, so it's leave and there's no you don't have to specify the team or anything because you can only be on one team pretty sure you can only be on one team and <laughs> there's only one team anyway so automatically it just leaves whatever team you're on or teams um, but this worked this worked all worked successfully um, I also tested uh, this um, oh yeah, this this worked, <laughs> um, and this spawn spawn point mechanism thing. I did some testing. Um, so I had to shift this over a block because um, this wasn't um, the signal wasn't reaching. Some of you probably noticed that last episode wasn't reaching here, so I just shifted this over. Got all the commands in. Um, also, I had coordinates at the end of join spawn, like like not these coordinates. I I had coordinates um, probably. I just got them in there from copy and pasting um, commands. I only know. Um, so it was adding the coordinates as members to the teams. So that's kind of weird. Um, but this worked. This worked very successfully as well. And um, again, it only works for people in Adventure Game Mode 2. Um, or Adventure Game Mode. That's, that's good. There we go. Throw you over the edge. And yeah, so all that was good. Very, very good. Um... Now we're gonna we're gonna do um, so you get teleported here. We're gonna get some more command blocks. So slash give one one three seven. I just like to have one. I don't like having stacks of stuff. You might have noticed I don't like have stacks of stuff in my hotbar. Just a single one. Um, so this is gonna give you stuff and then teleport you a second later. So we're gonna just drop this down by one block. Um, again, I'm gonna grab some of this stuff, light it up. So step on the pressure plate. A second later, fires off. Command block. So this is gonna be um, TP at P. Um, yeah, there's not. There's not gonna be any players anywhere else within a two block radius of this command block, or because it's two blocks away. There's no way there's a closer player than the person here. Um, so I can just do at, uh, TP at P. Um, oh, I didn't slash TP. Oh, if you hit escape, it'll come, uh, cancel what you've written. Um, so TP at P. And then I should need the X, Y, Z coordinates. Um, right, so of these eight places. So it's going to teleport them to a random one. And so here's the way I do that. Uh, it's really quite simple. It's kind of weird though. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna need a lot of space because there's eight of them. And uh, I thought of doing a tutorial on this before. I never got around to it. So there. All right, I got it all settled up. <laughs> um, in case you didn't notice, I was just having problems 
thinking. <laughs> I don't know why. I was just... Yeah. Um, anyways, i just been... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I was just, I was just not thinking. Um, yeah, just wasn't. <laughs> um, all right, so yeah, I'm just putting the final details on it. Here's how it works. There's eight hoppers here. Each hopper is a different spawn point. So let me run this line all around here. When this gets activated. Um, Every single one of these droppers are going to get activated, and while well, simultaneously the hoppers, but that doesn't matter. They're going to get locked, that's fine. So simultaneously, all of them will get fired. However, it doesn't really matter that all of them get fired, because only one um, is going to have an item, so only one matters that it got fired. Um, and I should have built this one. No, oh, no, this is actually fine. Um, so I have to just put two repeaters here, because whoop. You know, I could just put that activate it there. So, yeah, um, that's fine. You saw it activated all that. Um, no, it should be. I don't know. Will the signal go through that and then reactivate it? It might. Oh, just in case, I'll put a repeater. Anyway, so it's going to activate it. There's only going to be one item throughout this whole thing. So, it's going to be command block. That's what I like to put it as. So you're gonna go in here, goes in here. So it's in here, right? Imagine this, all these get fired, right? So no matter what, where the, which dropper the block is in, it's gonna get fired. So boom, it's in this one, gets placed in this hopper. This is locked because there's a redstone signal on top of it from the dust. Um, and this is, so there's a block in here, outputs a signal, boom. That teleports nearest person to um, their spawn point understand and then they get teleported they get off the pressure plate the item shifts to this dropper ready to be used again and and the next person will get teleported to this spawn point and the next person this 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 so it'll just go around in one big circle see understand <laughs> yeah so um, yeah, I think I think I did get explaining that. Um, yeah, and so there's eight eight hoppers, so and there's eight spawn points. So now what I'm just gonna have to do is go from block to block and get the coordinate of that, and that's gonna set. That's not gonna set their spawn point. That's just what they're where they're gonna spawn. So it's gonna be it's gonna appear to be like a random spawn point kind of thing, um, when really their spawn point is here or there, or it might be in a new place depending on. Um, how this goes, I guess. Like, I'm gonna test it out, and if this way doesn't work, I might have to change it around. Um, so yeah, each. So yeah, so I'm just gonna have to grab the coordinate of each of these, just like this, um, and I'm gonna write them down on a on a um, notepad, and then I'm gonna just paste them all into the things, and then we'll test it out, and I'll prove it. All right, see you then. There we go. Got all of them imported or in inputted all the different coordinates um, so in theory this should work I'm just gonna turn a game rule command um, block or what is it Psst. command block output whoops such game rule yeah command block output to false just because we're gonna get a bunch of um, stuff popping up um, so let me just clear my inventory. I can get that stuff back later. So, shoom, teleport, zoom, there, and I'm teleported. So that's the first. Um, it's the first place. Um, so that's well, that's not that's not the first place, but that is that's where I got teleported to. Um, so shoom, you saw. And I'm like, oh, you know, time to fight. I have my gear. Shut up, my gear. Um, I'll get gear later. Uh, and then fight, fight, fight. Ching, ching. Stab, stab, kill, kill. I'm getting points. Oh, I'm dead. And then, and then let's say you die. Then, oh, oh dear. Okay. <laughs> um, so my, yeah, you saw my spawn point was set here. 
didn't have a floor, however. So. Let me just build that in there. There we go. There. And then, another place. Now I'm teleported. Here. And you can see, like, last spawn point was right over there. So it's going to go in order. Um, but when you've got one to eight players, or not one to eight, two to, two to eight, not, probably not going to be out of fun with two people or one person. <laughs> um, so let's say four players. Um, it's just going to go, it's going to seem pretty random to you. Um, yeah, so that is that how that works. That is, um, oh, I, I got to kill myself. Let's just go slash kill. Boom. Teleported here. Let's continue the game. And you can saw, see it was off by um, some coordinates. I gotta fix. I gotta fix the exact coordinates. Um, like my spawn point, you can see psh, it's this block. It should be this block. It's weird how command block teleporting works. Um, so now it's this block, and so on and so forth. So yeah, it definitely works. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just keep doing it just to prove to you. Um, but yeah, it's a good system. Um, if you want, if you want to use it, if you want to use anything, um, in, um, in, you know, this map making series, um, do use it. Uh, just be sure to give me credit, um, by, I don't know, um, if you make a video on it, give me credit in the description. If you make it as a, like a forum post or something, post your map, um, then yeah, then credit me on that. Um, yeah, so there we go. And now I'm back to the same position I was in before that spawn position. So yeah, it's going to cycle around. Very, very good. That works excellently. Uh, as for gear, I don't know what kind of gear, um, people should have. Um, basic, basic armor, you know. Um, we don't want, we do want people to last for, for a, a decent amount of time though. So I'm thinking iron armor. Does that make sense to you? And then iron armor. Would that be good? And then iron swords. And then a bow. And then... Um, say seven arrows. Um, just because you don't really want people, you know, shooting with a bow. Um, you want them, like, up close fighting. Um, but, you know, we'll give you a couple shots with your bow. Um, that'll be good for when you're on the hill defending. Um, and people are rushing at you, you shoot them with their bow. Maybe, maybe more arrows. Um, but you're not going to give arrows with this. You're going to, I'm going to do that with a command block. And as well, the slash effect stuff. So you know what? I'm liking the idea of an iron armor, yeah. Should probably pla um, last decently. Um, yeah, you'll last a decent amount of time. Um, and then I need a redstone... Um, you know what? This is our boots. So it's this for sword. Whoops. Sword. And then this block there. Oh, I don't have a pressure plate anymore. This block there is going to be boots. Whoops. There we go. And look very carefully. I can still select it. So boots. Um, and then I can use an MC edit filter to just fill these up again. Um... Let me just duplicate everything and then just test to make sure it works. And, um, yeah, I can use an MC edit filter to make all these have 64 items so that you don't run out super easily. Oops. There. And then... Oh, <laughs> I didn't expect it to teleport me. But, yeah, so you got the gear. So that's all good. So let's kill. Um, right, you keep your items. I set that because I want you to get new gear every single time. Um, so that it's not damaged. Um, so we're going to use a command to clear your inventory as well. I don't know what that is, so we're going to have to figure that out. And this torch doesn't activate this block, does it? One sec. You can actually stop, check just by putting my redstone desk. No, it doesn't. It does here. Oh, gosh. Whoops. Where was I? Where was I working? Here I was. Um, so yeah, let's remove that. Um, 
Yeah, that torch isn't going to activate this command block. Um, Alright, so I'm going to have to look up the command to, uh, to clear people's inventories. Um, so I'll be right back. Okay, so it's actually really easy. Is this the command block I was going to do? Yeah, so it's actually just slash clear at P. I'm pretty sure. And should I write down? I should, I should do these coordinates. Things as well. There. Boom. Um, yeah. So normally you'll specify an item ID, but I don't think I, if I, I mean, if I don't, then it should still clear, clear my stuff, I think, right? Shoom! Ha ha! And then I got the armor, and now I need a bow. Um, <laughs> and I have to put these items back. Oops. Um, but that worked. You saw. Remove the items. Um, so it's going to like remove your damaged stuff, essentially. Then it's going to give you an arrow. I'll have to look up the idea for... Uh, the, the block ID, or the, the item ID for that. Um, and it's going to give you about... I'm going to say... I'm just going to give 16 items, because like 16 is like... Is like a, a number. <laughs> and, yeah. Um, so that's good. And then... Then I think that'll... That'll uh, be all for this episode. Um, it might even need to be all for this episode now. Um, I'm not sure. So then, boom, the block. Uh, so, let's see if that's the pressure plate right there. I think if I just um, maybe. And then, and then this gets turned on, and then, I don't know, that'll probably work, um, I don't know if that'll block there, um, oh, you know, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have delay though, because this is delay, and then you won't get in that time, so it has to be instant, instantaneous, so now I'll just throw a block here, block, block there, Continuing there and there and that that'll be instantaneous just oh I did it again I didn't mean to do that but yeah you saw I got the bow I got the iron sword before I got teleported um, okay let's test it boom this works this command is correct so yeah the the item is um, the item ID is 262 and giving 16 arrows um, so I can actually just put this up right actually go anywhere here there just gives that then we're gonna have boom an effect an effect and an effect so it's a slash effect at p um so it's gonna we're gonna give you speed um just speed level one which is zero for some reason you get to subtract it by one it's weird and uh for 16 seconds no let's just do 10 10 is all you need so i'm going to copy that um pretty sure that should work then you're going to get speed which is number five you're going to get strength or speed is number one strength is number five for 10 seconds and that's slash give and then this is going to be resistance which is whoops which is value seven um, so resistance, um, just level one, will just reduce the damage you take by 20%. Um, so you won't die as uh, easily, essentially. Um, and uh, what's the item ID for, or not item ID? Um, I was thinking of I was thinking of giving you regeneration as well, but that lasts the whole game. Um, one second, I'm just going to look that up. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to add that in here. Slash effect, its value is 10. So that's going to give you regeneration uh, level 1 for 10,000 seconds. So you're you're always going to be regenerating the whole thing. And I think that is fair um, for... Well, I think, I think that's good for the person right up here. Um... So a person up here, like let's say he kills everybody, he's the only person up here. He's regenerating a little bit so he can last a little bit longer up here. And uh, 
whilst he shoots shoots arrows down. Um, so yeah, that's that's probably a pretty good idea. Um, yeah, so that's all. Uh, I I think this episode's kind of been a little bit long, um, so I'm definitely gonna have to cut it here. Um, and I thought that maybe we'd be able to get to the point system today. Obviously not. We've been doing so much work here. Um, so next episode, episode three, um, or part three, really, um, I'm going to set up the, uh, the actual point system. So as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed, found this helpful or anything. And, uh, yeah, so I'll see you next episode. Goodbye.